Hive one. Oh my goodness. Um, so I watched Resident Evil Dead I Death Island yesterday, and oh my god. Um, I am very happy. I love the movie. Well, they brought back Rebecca Chambers. I was worrying they were going to kill her off in the movie, but... And we finally get to see Leon Kennedy and Jill Valentine talk to one another. I think I may have a new ship for Leon now, after the movie. I don't know if Jill's going to end up with Chris. It does kind of hint that they were going to get together in Resident Evil Revelation. But nothing happened. Resident Evil... And Resident Evil 9 might make it happen, but I won't care if none of the characters get married or... Again, this... Yeah, again, they did try to tackle Romance of 4 with Claire, and... Yep, both of those guys died. I guess it's something about, like, the Chris Redfield... Uh, the Redfield curse. Basically, if you care about someone, they die. Chris cared about his comrades, soldiers, and they all died in each Resident Evil game. Uh, Resident Evil 7, not a hero DLC. Dead, dead, dead. Yeah, all of them dead. Uh, well, not all of them. The ones that went with him to check the mines, dead. Um, I do have some complaints, and yeah, this is definitely accurate. Jill is basically the main character in the movie. And... Cl Poor Rebecca barely gets any screen time. I do like the new water liquor. And I'm hoping that they will turn in the Resident Evil 9 game. I would like for them to come back. Um, we got a new virus. This one takes place after 6, but before 7. And I gotta say, Capcom, keep making the... I love your CGI movies. They are a thousand times better than the um, Resident Evil, um... Well, the live-action ones. But yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite Resident Evil movies now. It was the airport one, Degenerate, because yeah, Claire was cool and so was Leon in the movie, but this one definitely I want to rewatch it again. Um, so basically, some organization kidnaps a scientist. Um, then they went to Alcatraz on a tour. I don't know why they went on with the tour group, but whatever. So the entire group, tour group, tour, I guess, turned to zombies. So this new virus is... It's basically the T-Virus. I'm not sure how the guy got it, but whatever. And... Oh, shit, wait, did... Did Leon even talk to Rebecca in the movie? Oh, he never had a conversation with Rebecca. I mean, Rebecca mentioned she knows Leon when they mention his name when, uh, in that scene in the movie, but I don't think Leon ever talked to her or had a conversation. He did have some nice moments with Jill, and I like the jokes Leon and Jill made when they were together. They acted like a couple or a married... Well, not a married couple, but... Yeah, a couple who hasn't seen each other in a while. Cool. Cool. I do have some problems as... Yeah, there weren't a lot of zombies in the movie. Well, I feel like... Well, like 50, maybe 60 zombies, and... That's it. Um... I do like them bringing back many weapons at the end for, uh, like, yeah, that epic showdown. Uh, the main villain gets transformed into a giant B.O.W., because of course he does. It's a Resident Evil movie, after all. Someone has to turn into a massive tyrant monster-like thing. And I'm actually just happy they brought Rebecca back. 
I'm hoping that I could get a game soon or eventually. But yeah, I highly recommend this movie. It's amazing. The zombies look okay, cool. A lot of action in it, and uh, unfortunately, there's not much horror. I mean, the closest you get is um this scene when the water lickers were jumping out of the water and start attacking Leon and Jill. And there's this, like, really cool scene where the lickers getting, his tongue is getting close to Jill's thighs and gets close to Jill's mouth. And she stops, like, a gas can from falling. And once they heard it, yeah, it tried to attack her. They... Both quickly dodged and ran down the sewers or underwater network in, in Alcatraz. And this made tons of them come to attack. That scene definitely was really intense and was scary. But the rest of the movie was basically Claire, Chris, and Leon just punching zombies, shooting them, knifing them, and throwing them around, just... A lot of action, a lot of action in the movie. It does kind of make me worry about the future of Resident Evil. Um, again, this is a survival horror game after all. Well, it's, it's, it started as survival horror, but over the years they got more and more, um, more actiony, and I know some people kind of don't like the action. I'm yeah, mixed on it. Again, I'm not the biggest fan of action movies. I'm more into horror, comedy, and raunchy comedy, and I guess drama to a point depends on the drama and depends who's it depends really depends on who's in the in the movie. But but yeah, Resident Evil Death Island was definitely a fun movie to watch. I'm definitely gonna buy it. Once I find it, next time I'm at Walmart. But yeah, I hope everyone has a wonderful day. And I please check this movie out. I hope everyone has a wonderful, wonderful day.